and welcome. In today's video, we're going to learn about how to build a TV application. So we're going to learn how to build a Samsung TV application using the Tizen Studio. So you can think of Tizen Studio as like kind of the other studios that are available for app development, like we have Android Studio, etc. Uh, similarly for television, for Samsung television in specific, we have Tizen Studio available. So as you can see, it also gives us a, a nice simulator over here. And on the right hand side, you see that there is a TV remote as well. In fact, you can change the TV remote control to a different one as well, uh, like so, or a basic remote control as well. Alright, so what do I need to know in order for me to build this TV application? Well, uh, you don't need to know a lot of stuff. In fact, if you know just basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that's all you need. In fact, if you don't even need to use JavaScript in your application, you can actually build it just with HTML and CSS. Isn't that wonderful? So this Tizen Studio uh, basically is going to allow us to include our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript file, and then and then compile it together to give us a TV app that we can use in into the Samsung televisions and play them. And while you're developing it, you can actually uh, you know view it how it's going to look on the television, play around with controls. You've got the remote control over here, like you can see that this is the analog watch uh, app that is built for television that you can use uh, in your Samsung TV. Okay, and uh, let me show you the project structure. So this is my project structure. As you can see, there is nothing fancy here. We just have normal CSS file, uh, style.css, and then we have just a basic uh, JavaScript, which you can write uh, if you like. And then you have the index.html. So you have the index.html, uh, just basic stuff over here. Okay, and then you have the icon for the television. This is the icon that we're using. You can use a different icon for your TV app, whichever you want. You have some configuration files. So this config.xml, which is your cust uh, configuration file, which by default comes when you create this application. Okay. 